guys, it's Coogly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Pixel Experience 9 based on Android Pie for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Pixel Experience ROM, if you have been on the ROM wall flashing scene for long enough, you already know what this is. It is a ROM which seeks to emulate the features and the look of Pixel devices on any other device. So that has a different type of charm to it and I really really do like it. So that's something there. I really really like this ROM just because it is a very laser sharp focused ROM. Let's get into it. First of all, let's go into the settings menu. Um, in the settings menu in the about phone page, you can see it is for the OnePlus 3. So there is no uh, funny business going on there. Android 9.0 with October security patches, which is pretty cool to have. Let's get to the other stuff now. First of all, this ROM is an amazing ROM for people who want no bullshit ROM, which can do it all. You want a very good daily driver. This is the ROM which you need. And it's a bonus really that uh, it has all the features of a Pixel phone. That's really, really cool. Now, with the ROM, this is not going to be a very feature rich ROM. Prefacing this ROM, I want to talk about this thing. If you are looking for a pure Pixel experience and need the Pixel style, etc. I mean, this is it. It has always been it. And uh, it's not going to be a feature rich ROM. It's not going to be the most battery friendly ROM. But if you want Pixel on your OnePlus device, this is it this is going to work out really well for you saying that let's get to the features now first of all all the features are hidden inside most of the menus here so all them all of them does work out something which i do want to talk about is volte volte was weird um i actually used volte at the first time and i was getting volte no problem at all after a restart or two uh, i started noticing that volte was missing i mean i'm not able to make any calls using my geo sim which was kind of sad but i mean personally i'm not using any vlt but do keep that in mind i did flash the vlt hack file but i did not get it working so i'm not gonna keep it as a may work scenario so that's there so this is an usb based rom so you don't really expect a lot of features with that and that's gonna be true because it doesn't really have a lot of features it's a very basic rom but for the features it has it does have battery manager it does have battery percentage on the status bar which is pretty cool apps and notification basic stuff which you will find in any other pi rom is also available Available, so you don't need to worry about that spend time in apps is available which is the well-being application so you can customize that it is still there and it is still in beta but hey it works out really well i'm really happy about that one thing which i do want to notice is that encryption mode does not work and if your phone is encrypted do not flash this because it's gonna break that so that's gonna cause an issue you're gonna lose your file so if you're daring enough back up everything before you try this rom so that's just how it is the extra settings are inside the uh, device settings you already have a swap button option now out of the box it comes with the samsung layout which i don't i'm not a big fan of so i changed it to uh, samsung layout or the oneplus layout so it works out really well now notification ladder options are available which is a normal one and it does work out really well so you don't need to worry about that uh, it's pretty cool and uh, this works so i'm happy about that uh, srgb mode is available and white color gamut mode is available for people who wants to that use that it doesn't have a high brightness mode toggler so that's kind of a thing ambient display triggers are available you do have options for that which is pretty cool gesture options are available where you can customize that it is the screen of gestures which is available with oneplus devices and it does work out it is pretty cool to have now something which is available in display options is adaptive brightness uh, font size and display size customization ambient display is available where you have notification and all that you can also access the uh, trigger options from here which is really cool always on display and new notifications are available works out really well it does even have a device theme function which uh, only darkens the uh, status bar and stuff which is not what we are actually looking for but hey it is what it is it is an usb based rom which is emulating pixel remember that so i mean those devices don't have a lot of inbuilt features so that's there apart from that it does have gesture options so you have jump to camera by double tapping the power button prevent ringing by pressing the volume up and power button is also available which is pretty cool button options are available which is a huge boon honestly i really really like that it comes with button options uh, it also has long press double tap and short press actions uh, nothing special but it is the uh, line style options of which are available this is pretty nice to have apart from that it does have a system updater which does support ota now by the in the time i've been using this rom i haven't had any ota option so i can't really test it out but it should work out if we know uh, something thing or two about the rom so that's pretty cool 
Now the developer options you do have uh, the normal slew of stuff which you will finally find in any other pyrom if you unlock the developer option nothing special honestly but it is available you can change the customization of uh, animations and all that strict mode all of this stuff is available i guess we can uh, finally conclude about the feature list i mean it's not a very feature rich rom it's a very minimalistic rom in terms of features but to be honest going with the theme and the name of the rom the pixel experience right so you get the experience of pixel which doesn't really have a lot of built-in features in settings menu and all that so i guess that's okay so i'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 because well it's just a score now the battery life the battery life is also not very impressive uh, i got about 15 to 14 percent of active rain and in the neighborhood of 1.6 to 1.7 percentage of uh, idle rain in uh, this one which is this one but i mean that was showing a very harder numbers because that was i was running benchmarks and all that but that has been the average for me over the course of two days so i'm gonna rate it as nothing special it's just the normal battery life which i would expect on a one year or two year old device so that's pretty cool i'm gonna give it a six out of ten four battery now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom is also right smack in the middle um, where I would expect a Pyrom to be. The average score which I got was about 146,578 which is respectable, pretty cool but it's the same as any other Pyrom so it's gonna be a 5 out of 10 for performance. Now the stability. Now stability is where I would say that this ROM really does matter a lot because it does have a very good stable base it is emulating pixel it doesn't have all the unnecessary features on other custom roms which more for most more, for some people they are unnecessary for me it's not but i mean you you get the point so it doesn't have all that extra bulk or blot so it's gonna be a really really stable rom i never had any issues with this i didn't have any restart i didn't have any call drops which i have had in other roms which i've talked about so i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for stability because it is a rock stable rom now the camera. The camera has been kind of a disappointment for me. Uh, it comes with the stock camera which is a USB which is nothing special. It takes photographs, it takes great photographs, it takes okay photographs. I don't really have any issues with that. Uh, but I mean pixel experience I thought it would come with uh, the other camera which is the uh, Shady Skull Shady's camera which is Google camera. But that might be thinking if in the other direction because that will cause some issues with the stability maybe. So I'm not going to cause anything but well, it's a basic camera. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 for camera. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. Now, it kind of feels like cheating, uh, just grading this ROM on aesthetics because it is trying to emulate Pixel, right? So, it doesn't have a lot uh, going on for it. It doesn't really have any other issues. It just works. It does support Substratum with root, so that's any ROM with root is going to support Substratum, no issues with that. I don't really, I don't even know if I should be grading aesthetics on this ROM, but I am going to do it anyways because it does have a dark mode which only changes the uh, top of it. I'm going to give it a 5.2, the same thing I go with uh, Nitrogen, so yeah. Now the overall experience of the ROM. Overall experience of the ROM, this might come as a shocker for someone who loves a lot of features. The experience using this ROM has been very, very clean. I have never had any issues. I don't really even need to change ROMs at this point because everything I need to do is can be done by this. Even the uh, applications, like everything works. I'm really, really happy about it. Everything is really, really crisp. It is Google's uh, applications and there is an option in Bluetooth menu which you can select to uh, change the voice to my watch, which is really cool. I don't have that option in uh, Lineage OS. So. I really really liked it. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for the overall experience because it's just an amazing amazing ROM which actually puts a smile when using it so that's pretty cool. Now let me show you guys the boot animation which if you have ever seen a pixel device you will probably know this is gonna be the same boot animation but hey it's what it is. So guys here is the boot animation for the pixel experience ROM and as I've said I mean this is the pixel boot animation for Google right it, oh well, it, it was supposed to have that uh that thing there which well, didn't work so yeah so there you have it guys that is the pixel experience rom yeah as i've already said feature wise it's nothing special it's pretty anemic another thing which i do want to mention is that uh, whenever you're restarting the device uh, you will have the uh, button switched back uh, even if you enable swap button just give it some time it will go back to normal and uh, it's gonna go back to where it was already there i think that much is it about the rom then the final score is gonna be 6.17409326 four that's gonna total up to about 6.2 for this rom which is actually a pretty good thing even though it has had a pretty minuscule score in features battle life and all that but still it's a very good rom for a daily driver because it's that 
stable and it's that good so i'm really happy about that so yeah i guess that much is about the rom then hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye